टॉर्क इज एबिलिटी ऑफ अ फोर्स टू प्रोड्यूस अ रोटेशन लेट एस कंसिडर इट इज एन रिजिड बॉडी फिक्सड एट सम पॉइंट a perpendicular force is applied on this rigid body because of this perpendicular force the rigid body begin to rotate with the application of perpendicular force the rigid body rotates the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and line at which the force act is the moment r therefore the torque acting on a rotating body is given by torque tau is equal to vector r cross vector f no therefore torque acting on magnitude of torque acting on a rotating body is it is r into f into sin of angle theta where theta is the smaller angle between the line of action of force and the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation in this case let this strip metal strip metal scale is fixed about this point and a perpendicular force is applied on this one then this much a distance from the axis to the line action of a force is the moment r and here r and f are perpendicular to each other in that case theta equal to 90 in that case if theta equal to 90 we used to say that torque tau is equal to r into f because sin 90 is 1 what this torque used to do the torque initially make the body to rotate if this scale is at rest with the application of torque it begin to rotate therefore the body at rest is brought into rotation or for a body which is actually in rotation the torque either increases the angular speed or decreases the angular speed and the change of angular velocity per unit time is called as acceleration angular acceleration therefore torque is able to produce an angular acceleration we will see is there any relation between the torque and angular acceleration for that we will do a very simple thing let us consider a rigid body rotating about given axis of rotation let rigid body rotate in x y plane these are the different in finite number of particles situated at a different differences uh, distances from the axis of rotation as the rigid body rotate every particle in the rigid body performs circular motion and by the application of a torque there is a change of angular speed because of that it has angular acceleration as well all have the tangential acceleration which is given by a1 is equal to r1 alpha a2 is equal to r2 alpha and like that an is equal to rn alpha these are the tangential acceleration of different particles of the rotating body no the force that act on different particles f1 is equal to m1 a1 is equal to m1 into r1 alpha in a similar manner f2 is equal to m2 a2 m2 r2 alpha 
like that fn is equal to mn rn which comes out to be equal to mn rn into alpha and because of these forces acting on different particles the torque acting on different particle is r1 into f1 which comes out to be equal to m1 r1 square alpha the tau 2 is equal to r2 into f2 which comes out to be equal to m2 r2 square alpha and like that tau n is equal to m n r n square alpha as far as as far as the rotating body is rotating in the same plane all the torque acting in one direction therefore the total torque acting on a rotating body is equal to sum of the torques acting on individual particles and hence it should be equal to summation mi ri square alpha if you add all this you will get summation mi ri square alpha but summation mi ri square by definition is the moment of inertia therefore the relation between torque and angular acceleration uh, torque and angular acceleration is that tau is equal to i alpha this relation is very similar to that of relation in linear motion force is equal to mass into acceleration here the angular acceleration is equal to torque upon moment of inertia from this relation it's very clear that with increase in moment of inertia there is a decrease in angular acceleration with increase in moment of inertia there is decrease in angular acceleration it means that more is the value of moment of inertia of a rotating body it has a less tendency to change the state of rotation it is opposing to change the angular velocity more is i less is alpha less is i more is alpha this is what's the relation between torque and the angular acceleration torque and angular acceleration are related to each other with additional term moment of inertia i this is all about how to find out the relation between torque and moment of inertia here also i will write torque tau is equal to i alpha is d omega by dt it is d by dt of i omega therefore i will write it as d by dt of l therefore torque is also called as the rate of change of angular momentum i omega is the angular momentum therefore torque is equal to rate of change of angular momentum this is all about the torque and angular acceleration thank you very much